Ortho clay is blocks, yeah. I'll get the blocks and green glass. I don't know what praises are. I will get wood opals because I don't have any gems yet. And I'd hate to get a mood that required one. Um, lead cage, nickel cages. They're fairly cheap, so we'll put some money into those. Buckets, 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 training weapons. Copper dagger for 24 dwarf bucks. We'll pick that up. Black steel spear. Pigtail fiber sock. Socks and shoes made out of pigtail fiber. A cobalt cap. And a dog leather right something. It's only seven dwarf bucks. Somebody can claim it. Bulldog leather left something. Cat leather bag. Just all these cheap things that are laying around. Rock melon seeds. How about that? Dimple cup spawn bag. A goat leather bag. Albino bean seeds. Um, more K pumpkin seeds just in case. You never know. Man, those are some expensive cloth bins. All that silk, that spider silk. Uh, copper balls. I don't want any worthless trinkets. I will buy an iron anvil for a hundred dwarf bucks. Get another shop set up somewhere. And how about we just buy all this food? Are you guys going to be happy with 30 dwarf bucks profit? Yes, they are. So, congratulations, Ferret Fiend. Um, you were a good impromptu broker. Oh man, that fire is going to spread and kill people, isn't it? Don't catch yourselves on fire, fools. Jerathor is unhappy right now. Why are you unhappy, Jerathor? Jerathor has been unhappy lately. He has been attacked lately. He slept without a proper room recently. He talked with a friend. He was forced to endure the decay of a friend. Uh, you're not happy about being being mugged by a harpy. You expected more from our armed services, our military there. Yeah, I don't have this set up properly, so they can't really use the tables yet. These corner chairs are strictly for looks. Eventually, I'll have chairs all the way around. I just like to have a square shape for the dining area. Uh, come on, somebody hurry up and build the wood furnace. We have gargles here still. A plexi. Nil, unconscious, and pale. Burning up from fever. Well, it's 10th Moonstone, early winter. We've taken care of the harpies, and now the fire is just going to spread. It looks like it won't climb up out of there. So, that's not too bad then. It'll clear out all the debris down here that I don't need. Oh, well, it looks like Hippo Man has finally pulled Nil over to the uh, table here and is doing surgery on him. Let's check Nil's status. Severe blood loss. He's currently bleeding very bad needs setting, he needs everything. I don't, I, I don't have anything for him, I guess. I mean, I don't have sutures, I don't have bandages or anything. I don't even have a uh, clothing shop set up yet. I think that's where it's probably made. Let's let's make one of those clothing shop. Well, at least check it out. And, you know what, let's put this back here. And make it out of compact feet. Why not? And hopefully Hippo Man will be able to save Neil there from the infection. I still don't have any soap. The wood furnace is nearly done, thankfully. It's finished. Now let's make some ash. Then we can start making some lye. And I do need to... I need to butcher something so I can rend fat and make some tallow. Oh god, what's going on? Wrestler, Pylops, and Jello Snark are sparring down here in the barracks. Fire is still raging along outside. Smoke is pouring in through the open door. Oh no! Oh shit. Neil has bled to death, our miner. And the leader of this caravan. Him and Jaclar were the two originals that led the caravan here and they both died, killed from the same collapse. And Neil dies as the fire rages on outside. Well, let's claim Neil's corpse here. And they'll bury him, take him to the tomb. Well, rest in peace, Neil. You tried your hardest. 
There's 16 other dwarves here who will try to carry on your legacy. Continue to expand the dwarven empire here in the south and fight back the tide of darkness. Oh, great. I wonder what's, in, what's on fire in the front door there. Is anyone gonna, one gonna bury you? What do we got here? I think that's the cat. A kitty corpse. Someone took your body. Maybe they already dropped you off up there. We got, yep, Neil. This is Neil's tomb then. Right next to J. Clark's tomb. Well, rest in peace, you guys. It's currently 14th Moonstone, and Neil has been placed in a coffin. Well, I'll find out who our primary, another primary miner is going to be. Our next one. Uh, we need someone to replace Neil. That was Neil's only job. It looks like the merchants are going to be leaving soon, thankfully. I don't know why, thankfully. I'm just kind of upset that Neil's dead now. Get out of here, merchants. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Hopefully we'll get the rest of these supplies carried in. Liquor barrels. I need more food supplies, more food stockpiles down here. I think we will... Let's put some food over here by the kitchen. It'll be a nice long way for them to carry it. Uh, this can be a nice little stockpile room then. Right here. I'm going to let them move on. I'll try to get some beds placed. i got to get the uh, bedrooms up here sorted out. I um, should probably claim that corpse before it starts rotting. Yeah, I'll get some bedrooms and everything thrown up. Okay, well, we just had our first thief sighted. It's 27th Obsidian, late winter. And it looks like the thief is right there. It is a cobalt thief. Armed with a cobalt dagger and just some generic cave spider silk stuff. There's another one. Two of them there. I don't think I'll stick the military after them. They're probably not quick enough to catch up to them. Yep. They split up. Trying to keep us off their trail. And they'll bug out and get off the map. Um, the fire is still raging. It's burning in the doorway anyways. I think it caught our cage traps on fire. Um, I don't really know because I haven't been able to see underneath there. And the fire has been burning for a while. Um, let's see, what else is going on? I'm expanding the hallways here, reshaping things. And got a bunch of bedrooms built in this place now. I just need doors so I can, um, I guess, make the bedrooms individual because now they're all connected openly. Well, yippee, it's saved, so it's first granite, early spring, 317. But I was saying, making a whole bunch of doors now so I can separate these bedrooms. And they're not going to be completely open to just to the hallways and to everybody that walks by. I'm trying to give you guys some privacy, some personalized bedrooms this time. Instead of everybody having cookie cutter, three tile bedrooms. Still have 16 dwarves. Yeah, besides those two thieves that just ran away, it's been rather quiet. Just expanding the base, looking for stone. Did find some more, um, some more geothite down here, another vein, while I was digging this out. And Brandon Gaming has been unhappy since Neil died. I'm trying to cheer him up with a bedroom, but so far it hasn't really helped. Thankfully, he's not suicidal depressed if he was to pick up an axe or a dagger and take it to the rest of the dwarves I don't know if any of them would stand a chance so hold it together Brandon I think you'll be able to pull it through still don't have any um, soap made I don't think I'm trying to get some uh, unrendered fat but even though I've got animals marked for butchering, none of them are being butchered. So I don't know what to do about that. Brandon Gaming, you've got two pets. The war dogs, that's right. 
But I'll try to get these animals butchered still. We've got more than enough lye and more than enough ash. Used up all of our wood stockpiles. Gotta replenish that now. I think whenever I come back, provided we're not under attack, I'll probably do a run through of some of the dwarves. Go through their military skills, see who's training up the best, and who's lagging way behind like a slacker. So it's 5th Granite, 317, early spring. The fortress marches on. Okay, well, I was scouting out the units list again, because I've got the civilians running all over the place now. Um, tearing down as many roofs and floors as I can find for boards, because I, I don't know what my, my wood choppers are doing. But there's a huge pack of beak dogs over here. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. So how about we get our military some action? It's been a while since they've done anything. Attack all of the beak dogs, A through G, and as well as you, the gilded temples. You go kill some stuff too. Whoops. Should probably press K. Pull that rectangle up. Yep, A through G there too. And charge! I guess we'll see who wins here. I'm hoping that they uh, all of the soldiers arrive kind of in one big group. Otherwise the big dogs will have a huge advantage surrounding them. Don your armor, men. Grab your weapons. The big dog pack starts sniffing around, picking up the trail of dwarves. Ooh, and there's someone. Metal Slime Hunt charges forward. I don't know if you have any weapons either yet. A copper dagger in your right hand, so... Charge forth. And actually, what are your skills? Dabbling knife user, dabbling armor user. Well, get some skill here, Metal Slime Hunt. The big dogs charge and lunge at you, and... They tear you to pieces. Metal Slime Hunt's been tore down. I don't think he got any beak dogs slain there. They munch around your corpse and gnaw on your body. And what do we have here? Brandon Gaming charges forward. Dark Child, you're up there. And Master Ozra, you're down there. And Pylops is there. So Brandon Gaming begins to twirl and fly, fly around. Dark Child throws his fireballs, catching things on fire. Flames catch the beak dog. He bursts into a cloud of sparks. Saw Brandon Gaming throw one of the beak dogs against a bush over there. Ooh. A bunch of warthogs just ran onto the map. They begin ripping and roaring through there. Getting the hell away from this massacre. Well, rest in peace, Metal Slime Hunt. You did your best. And Max Red organizes a party at the well. We'll cancel these kill orders. I don't think there's anything else here. Just a bunch of warthogs. Well, that's what happens when you get in the military. We desperately need some migrants now. And we're down to 15 people. Yep. Make sure I claimed everything there. And I'll have to start building some more coffins. I think I only placed three tombs. So Metal Slime Hunt, I guess, um, congratulations, you get one of the tombs. After this, I'm going to start just building a huge mass graveyard, I think. Yep, so, it's 22nd Granite, early spring. And we'll mourn the passing of Metal Slime Hunt. And prepare for future onslaughts. I need to make some more leather armor, I think. What do we need? I've got leggings and trousers, or... I've got plenty of leggings, plenty of, um, body armor, a tunic. Let's throw some high boots in there. I don't know if anybody has boots yet. Um, don't need backpacks or anything. Think about making leather robes too. And I'll add leather robes to their military uniform. Should just give another layer of protection for them. How are we doing on food supplies? 370 food, 109 meat. Not able to catch up on plants yet. I did turn some more people into farmers. Oh, there's more fire by the front door. Yeah, Dark Child, you're going to have to learn to control yourself. If you catch this top world on fire, I'm going to be extremely mad at you. 